Hey guys, it's Jessica, and today I'm sharing another free movement activity for speech therapy with you. If you love to get up and get those wiggles out, like me and my students do, you will want to grab this free calendar um, in the description. There is a link for you, so you can grab it, and I'll email you a copy of these 20 free activities. Um, so for today's activity, we are doing a cotton ball cup toss. As the name implies, you will need some cotton balls and you will need some cups. Um, these are little plastic ones I got at the dollar store. You could also just use paper Dixie cups or you could use bigger cups as well. Okay, so just like it sounds, you're gonna line your cups up on the floor and you're gonna grab a cotton ball and you are going to try and toss your cotton ball into the cups. So um, you can do this a couple of different ways. You can maybe give your student 10 cotton balls and for each cotton ball, they have to do a speech practice, you know, an articulation word or some other skill that you're working on. Um, and they get, you know, they practice each time they throw the cotton ball. Or you could um, maybe set a timer for a minute and see how many cotton balls they can get in the cup by throwing it. And however many they get is how many speech sounds they have to say. Um, as always, I love to try to turn it into somewhat of a competition, mostly because I find that encourages students to be excited about getting more and then I'm excited because they're practicing more. So for example, we're trying to see who can get the most cotton balls in the cup in 30 seconds. I'll write it on the board and you know they try to beat the record from the day and they just really like doing that. Um, okay, so you can mix this up. You know, I like to mix it up for you guys, give you ideas of ways just to keep it fresh during your session. Um, you can either change the shape of the cup. So I had them all kind of bunched up in a group like this. That's gonna be a little easier to shoot the cotton ball in, or you can put them in a line. That'll be a little trickier. You could try moving them to different places in your room. Um, you could have your students stand on one of the balancing toys that I have referenced several times um, while they're trying to make their shot. and. Um, all of those are great ways to just kind of keep it fresh. So if you like this idea, be sure and follow the next video in the playlist and let me email you a copy of this. I promise it's free. It will be a great resource for you this school year. Um, and I'll just email you a copy and you'll have it in all of your you know, files. So those days that you just need something quick and fun and easy, you grab this out, you take my activity, adapt it for your caseload, and it'll be great.